Okay, so this time we focus on capstone project and presentation and marketing management. Most commonly, actually, no, uh, when it comes to marketing, it's just a strategic uh, planning or sometimes ano, uh, a strategic development plan no, or mar uh, strategic marketing development plan. Uh, but most commonly, especially this since this is a master's degree, we look into the capstone project and how we'll be able to present our uh, capstone project and marketing management. <clears throat> A capstone project and presentation and marketing management serve as a cultivating experience for students in master's administration na program, providing an opportunity to uh, integrate and apply the knowledge and skills acquired through their first work. So this comprehensive project typically requires students to address a real-world marketing challenge, no? conduct in-depth research, and present strategic recommendations to a relevant audience. <clears throat> in, a, in, a, in this uh, capstone project, no, we look into the project definition scope, uh, how we'll be able to deal with literature review and theoretical framework, the research design and data collection, analysis and strategic recommendation, implementation plan, presentation preparation, Question and answer in defense, of course, reflection and learning outcomes. And to give us more details about the topic, let us all welcome our presenter. Go ahead. Hey, good morning, class. Good morning, classmates. Good morning. And Dean Marmelo. Now, this is the last chapter of the textbook, which deals more on the capstone project and presentations. So we're, we're done with the... Most of the theories which we, we have learned and discussed uh, advanced marketing management. So this chapter deals with how you're going to present your, your, know, your research. So the learning intended outcomes, the capstone project and presentations in advanced marketing management serve as the culminating experience within the program affording students the opportunity to apply theoretical knowledge to actual scenarios, exhibit their skills, and demonstrate their capacity to address intricate marketing difficulties. The project aims to foster the development of critical thinking, creativity, teamwork, and effective communication. Now, on my next slide, these are the learning intended outcomes. First, you, you integrate the knowledge and skills. Two, strategic analysis and problem solving. Three, strategic planning and decision making. Four, market research and data analysis. Five, innovation and creativity. Six, collaboration and teamwork. Seven, presentation and communication skills. Eight, critical thinking and evaluation. Nine, ethical considerations. Ten, time management and planning. Eleven, adaptability and flexibility. Measuring impact and ROI, return of investment. Feedback and incorporation. Risk management. And lastly, continuous learning and improvement. So those are the intended outcomes. So as an introduction, as Dean has mentioned earlier, ito yung culminating endeavor. I think gagawin yata din natin to eh, the end of the semester. So this is the part where we apply the knowledge, skills, and insights acquired. We also address a genuine marketing challenge in the real world. And it also serves as an evaluation of a student's capacity to combine theory with practice. So, this is the capstone project and presentation. So first, let's deal with the project selection. So you choose a specific marketing topic or challenge. So what are the options? You can develop a comprehensive marketing strategy, address a marketing issue, or conduct in-depth market analysis. So second, research and analysis. You gather the following 
for the marketing strategy solution for for the strategy or for the solution so you gather the relevant data the market insights and the industry trends and the industry trends so three you formulate the strategy so address the identified challenge and that would include you define the define the target markets positioning messaging channel strategies and the tactics next is for the implementation plan for proposed marketing strategy that would include the timelines resource allocation key performance indicators and the key performance indicators so part 5 is the presentation preparation and ano yung magiging highlights ng presentation research the strategy the proposed proposed solutions okay so number 6 the presentation delivery so kanino mo ipe-present yung capstone project so you present it to the faculty to the industry experts and peers and during the presentation you showcase the research findings the rationale behind the strategy and the challenges so there's also a question and answer and feedback which dean has mentioned earlier so since there are panelists and audience presented to to your peers to the faculty so the panelists and the audience can inquire about the subject about the project, about the strategy and the implementation plan. And meron tong feedback portion. So this would help the students refine their ideas. In feedback naman, hindi naman ano to eh, negative criticism. It can be a, in the form of a constructive criticism. Eight is submission of the final project. So you submit a comprehensive written report which outlines the project's background, research methodology, strategic details, implementation plan, and the evaluation metrics. Nine deals with the evaluation and grading. So the evaluation is based on the quality of the research, soundness of the marketing strategy, the clarity of presentation, and the feasibility of the proposed solutions. Ten, the reflections and learning. So what do we reflect on? So we reflect, we reflect on their experience, the challenges encountered, and the lesson learned from the process. Now, for the capstone project, we develop a comprehensive marketing strategy with the objective of formulating a comprehensive and well thought out strategy to effectively tackle a particular marketing strategy. So the following succeeding slides would show you the structure for the proposed structures which I think ito rin gagamitin natin eh, when we present our, our, our own project, Capstone project. Okay. So I'll give an example. Ano? So, 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 so we're dealing with a market strategy. Eh. I'll give an example na lang. So how would I give a proposed structure, for example, ang marketing strategy ko, which I think is very very timely here in the Philippines, yung emergence ng mga electric vehicles. Mapapansin nyo, meron na lumalabas na hybrid, hybrid na vehicles. Sinabing hybrid yung sa combination of gas and, and the battery power. 
Pero meron lang lumalabas din na uh, EV ang tawag natin doon, eh, electric vehicle. So, I, I'm quite intrigued ha, paano ginawa nung marketing strategy team itong plan nila for the for the introduction of electric vehicles dito sa Pilipinas. So, yun ang kunwari na ano natin. Uh, example of a strategic plan, a marketing strategic plan here in the Philippines, how to introduce electric vehicles in the Philippines. So, part one, or the first one, is the project introduction. To provide an overview of the chosen company, the product or service, in the context of the marketing challenge. So, um, sinet ko example dito yung electric vehicles and merong bagong company na nag introduce dito sa Pilipinas, yung BYD. Lumalabas na ito sa ano ko eh. Nakikita ko na ito sa, sa, sa YouTube. Every time I watch a YouTube video, may lumalabas na B, BYD and they try to introduce the the electric electric vehicles. BYD, for your information, is a Chinese-based company, China-based. So two situation analysis. So it's an analysis of the external and internal factors that impact the marketing situation. And in, it, it includes the SWOT. I hope you're familiar with SWOT, which stands for strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, strengths, and threats. And a review of the competitive landscape. So, pag sinabi natin yung competitive landscape, sino yung competitors nila? Being a Chinese company, competitors nila, of course, yung mga Japanese manufacturing companies like Toyota and Honda and yung mga Korean manufacturing companies, car manufacturing companies like Hyundai at saka Kia. So, three Ano yung target market and customer analysis? So, define the target audience segments for the marketing strategy. We describe the demographics, the psycho psychographics, the behaviors, and needs. So, since you'll be doing the strategy, the strategic plan here in the Philippines, of course, you have to describe the demographics, psychographics, behaviors, and needs of the Filipino consumer. Four, positioning and branding. You position the product in the market, differentiate it from the competitors, and at the same time, you create a strong brand identity. Five, marketing objective and goals. Kailangan yung objectives nila, or objectives of that uh, company should be measurable, achievable, relevant, and time bound. Next is the marketing mix strategies. So the strategies for each element of the marketing mix would consider the following. First in product, any service features, any benefits, any modifications. Second place, distribution strategy, Sa saan to ano saan to i-distribute yung product nila for example yung electric vehicle channels and the logistics third yata tayo pinaka importante price the cost the competition and the value for money and the fourth yung promotion advertising public relations digital marketing and social media and as I've mentioned earlier, lumalabas na to, nakikita ko na to sa, sa YouTube. Next is the implementation plan. So with regards to this uh, marketing strategy, that would entail, ano yung timeline nila? Ano yung timeline sa strategy? Responsibilities and the uh, resources. Of course, papasok dito yung budget allocation eh. Ito yung marketing strategy and activities. Then, 
you have to also include the measurement and evaluation. So define the key performance indicators in KPI, which is a measure of the success of the marketing strategy. This assessment and mitigation, so identify the potential challenges or risks that could impact the implementation of your strategy and outline the strategies to mitigate them. Next, you have also to tackle the ethical considerations. So discuss any ethical considerations related to the marketing strategy, such as honesty in advertising, consumer privacy, and social responsibility. Of course, you have to give your conclusion after all your analysis, the studies. You come up with a solution, summarize the key points of the strategy, and re reiterate its potential impact on the company. Now, represent na yon, of course. So, it's a presentation preparation. And whenever you present, Whenever you present a capstone project, it should be visually engaging. And you should highlight the key aspects of the strategy with the use of charts, visuals, and the data. Now, with regards to the presentation delivery, you deliver your presentation to a panel of faculty members, industry experts, and peers explaining your strategy, and of course, you answer their questions. And the last part of the structure is reflection and learning. You reflect on the process of developing the market, the marketing strategy, the challenges faced, and the lessons learned from the project. Now, the successful completion of a capstone project focus on developing the, a comprehensive marketing plan necessitates a profound comprehension of fundamental marketing principles, the application of critical thinking skills, and the utilization of creative thinking abilities. This opportunity enables the student to, show, to showcase their proficiency in synthesizing information, formulating strategic judgments, and successfully conveying their ideas. So the presentation of a capstone project that would entail ex ex exhibiting their research analysis, their research analysis, problem solving aptitude and, pro and project outcomes. It is presented in in front of the panel of assessors, your peers or fellow students, instructors, and industry experts. This is the opportunity to explain your findings and suggestions. So, so what is the outline of the presentation, the capstone presentation? First is the preparation should be a clear and well-structured presentation. State your problem, state the research methodology, the findings, the analysis, and the recommendations. Second, of course, you have to use visual aids like slides, graphs, charts, and images in order for you to illustrate the complex concepts. Three is the opening and introduction, which would include the context of the project and the purpose. Four, the, pre the problem statement of and objectives. Kailangan mo matakod doon sa fourth part, where this achieved yung problem statement and objectives. Five is the research methodology. 
So what were the methods used to gather data and conduct the research? Six, findings and analysis. You have to highlight the data points, the trends, and the insights. Seven are the recommendations and solutions. You explain how this address the problem. Eight is the implementation plan. If applicable, outline the steps and strategies you propose for implementing your recommendations. Highlight any potential challenges and how you intend to overcome them. Nine is the justification and rationale. Explain the rationale behind your recommendation, citing evidence, research, and logic that support your proposed solutions. Then, benefits and impact. Discuss the potential benefits and positive outcomes that can result from implementing your recommendations. Explain how your project contributes to the field of the industry. 11 is the conclusion. Summarize the key points of your presentation, reiterating your problem statement, objectives, findings, and recommendation. So there's also a question, as I mentioned earlier, meron yang question and answer session. After your presentation, the panel and the audience may ask you questions to clarify your project's details, methodology, and reasoning. Thirteen is time management. Pwede mag-present ng dalawang oras o tatlong oras. So you have to keep track of the time during the presentation. Keep it focused, concise, but complete. Fourteen is engagement and delivery. And so ito, ano to eh? Uh, kasama dito yung how to present properly. So engage with your audience by maintaining eye contact, speaking clearly, and using a confident tone. Avoid reading directly from the slide. And 15, is, which is the last reflection and learning, after the presentation, reflect on your performance, the feedback received, and the overall experience of presenting your capstone project. So let's go to the peer evaluation and feedback. This entails evaluation and constructive input, or what we call constructive criticism. It's an integral part as it provides many viewpoints, insights, suggestion to augment the caliber and efficacy of the project. So what is included with a peer evaluation and feedback? First, in peer evaluation process. Students in the capstone class are assigned to review and evaluate the capstone projects of their peers. This process typically occurs during or after the project presentation. Second, assessment criteria. So the students use specific criteria established by the instructor or program guidelines to evaluate the quality, depth, and rigor of their peers' capstone projects. This criteria may include the research methodology, analysis, recommendation, presentation quality, and more. Third, feedback delivery. After evaluating a peer's project, each student provides feedback that offers constructive criticism, suggestions for improvement, and positive, re positive reinforcement for well-executed aspects of the project. Fourth is the objective perspective. Ano ba tong objective perspective? So the peer evaluation 
brings an objective perspective to the project. Students can identify strengths and weaknesses that the project creator might not have noticed. Number five, learning from each other. So, so since you will be exposed to different approaches, different learning, learn, uh, different research methods and solutions, meron kang, meron tayong tinatawag na cross-learning. It allows for exposure for you to the different approaches and solutions to similar marketing challenges. Number six is identifying the opportunities for improvement. The peers can identify the areas where the project creator could enhance their research analysis, argumentation, or presentation. This helps the project creator refine their work. Seven is clarification and insight. Feedback from peers can help clarify aspects of the project that might not be communicated effectively or raise questions that prompt the project creator to delve deeper. Eight, enhancing communication skills. Providing feedback to peers helps students develop their communication skills as they need to convey their thoughts and suggestions clearly and diplomatically. Next is creating a supportive environment. Peer evaluation creates a supporting learning environment where students collaborate to improve the quality of their projects collectively. Next is receiving diverse perspectives. Peers from various backgrounds and experiences provide diverse viewpoints, contributing to a more comprehensive evaluation process. Feedback incorporation. The project creator reviews the feedback from the peers and decides how to incorporate valuable suggestions into their capstone project. Number 12 is iterative improvement. That will enhance their projects through multiple feedbacks. Thirteen is professional skill development. Giving and receiving constructive feedback is a professional skill that, can, that students can apply in their future careers. 14 is enhanced critical thinking. Both evaluating peers' work and receiving feedback require critical thinking and analytical skills further developing these abilities. And last, reflection and growth. Reflect, reflecting on peer feedback encourages self-assessment for, for improvement. So the integration of peer evaluation and feedback inside the Advanced Marketing Management Capstone Project enhances the educational encounter and facilitates the production of superior project outcomes by students. The utilization of this approach fosters the development of collaborative abilities, critical reasoning, effective communication aptitude, and a more profound comprehension of the subject matter. Uh, that's the last slide. Thank you for listening. Okay. So, <clears throat> as what our presenter mentioned, okay. the capstone project in marketing management begins with the uh, <clears throat> identification and definition of a specific marketing challenge or opportunity. Uh, a student no, uh, work closely with faculty mentors or industry partners to ensure that the project scope is well-defined, relevant, and aligns with programs learning objectives. <clears throat> Before diving into the practical aspect of the project, no, uh, 
the researcher conduct a thorough literature review to explore existing theories, no frameworks, and best practices related to the chosen marketing uh, challenge. Okay. And this theoretical foundation provides a basis for developing a strategic approach and informs the methodolo methodology for the research space. <clears throat> Depending on the nature of the marketing challenge, no? students design a research methodology that may uh, include surveys, interviews, case studies, or data analysis. The goal is to gather relevant data that informs the understanding of the problem and contributes to the development of actionable insights. <clears throat> With the data in hand, no? students analyze the findings and formulate a strategic recommendation. <clears throat> This space no open involves applying marketing theories and frameworks to interpret the data, no identify patterns and draw conclusions. So the recommendations are assigned or designed to uh, address the marketing challenge and capitalize no, on opportunities. <laughs> a crucial component of a capstone project is the development of an implementation plan. <clears throat> The researcher outlined the steps, resources, and uh, timelines no, required to execute their strategic recommendations successfully. And this stage demonstrates a practical understanding of how marketing strategies are translated into actionable plans within a real-world context. <clears throat> As the capstone project concludes, no, our presenter mentioned that uh, a researcher needs to prepare a comprehensive presentation to communicate their findings and recommendation effectively. So the presentation typically includes a review of the problem, an overview of the research process, the key insights, and the proposed strategic recommendation. Visual aids uh, such as charts and graphs are often employed to enhance clarity. <clears throat> Following the formal presentation, a researcher engaged in a Q&A session with a panel of faculty or industry experts. This defense allows a research, researcher to uh, demonstrate a deep understanding of their project, you know, respond to inquiries about their methodology and findings, and defend the rationality behind their strategic recommend recommendation. The final phase of the uh, capstone project involves reflection on the entire process. No? A researcher assess the, what they have learned, both in terms of technical skills and the application of theoretical knowledge to real-world scenarios. <clears throat> and this reflection often forms the basis for a written report or reflective essay highlighting the personal and professional growth achieved through the capstone experience. Again, the capstone project and presentation and marketing management serve as a comprehensive and practical culmination of an MBA student. So by addressing a real-world marketing challenge, students or researchers demonstrate their ability to integrate theory with practice, analyze data, uh, develop a strategic recommendation, and communicate their findings effectively. A skill set essential for success in the dynamic field of marketing management. And I think that's it.